Now look at this Paul Wall looking wannabe thinking he knows something about the law. He looks like a fucking flamer. So this dude obviously doesn't know shit about civil civilian due process or the oath to the Constitution that any of these officers violate every day by pulling anybody over for victimless crime. So uh, just listening to people like this guy who believe in sovereign citizenry and don't know anything about the private side of the courts or the chancery courts or anything, they sound like a bunch of idiots because they don't really research anything. They think they understand the law, but all they really know is how to bend over and take these statutes of codes up their ass. And uh, we don't do that. Uh, an exclusive equity, jur ex exclusive equity jurisprudence. We don't do that when we're holding them to their oath because their oath has nothing to do with statutes and codes. And whatever statutes and codes are created need to follow the Constitution, and most of them don't. So uh, don't pay attention to uh, idiots like this, these people that go in and try to trash talk sovereign citizens because they don't have any grip on civilian due process or what the law actually is and what the law is actually is is uh our state officials uh basically social contract to us so the only job that they have is to make sure that our rights aren't infringed upon and that we don't harm other people uh violating little statutes and codes where there's no victim that's not the law that's just corporate policy but these people would have you believe that corporate policy is the law and they don't know shit. So let's continue with the video. We have a continuation. We have a continuation. Our legal our expert. Legal our last expert. Video, our last where he video. Tries to file where he tries his to attorney with the solicitor's office and he can't understand why they won't accept it. Now, uh, first, they did accept the power of attorney. I was able to record it with the county recorder's office. Uh, he should have checked and seen that. And the power of attorney was especially written by someone in the jail with him uh, that basically filed for Patrick to be secured party creditor. At that point, he controls the credit. Uh, and the whole, power, part, the whole point of the power of attorney was to have something on record that someone else had power of attorney. So they couldn't assign an, another attorney for him because he doesn't want any of their bullshit ass attorneys that are going to sell them up the crick. That was the whole point. It wasn't for me to represent anybody. It was just to block them from doing something. But these people don't know the purpose of anything that we do uh, for any reason because they only have one understanding of the law. So they really sound like a bunch of idiots when they do stuff like this. Before we begin, I want to point out a few things as I've done some additional research into this case. The person in custody is Patrick King. He was arrested for possession of an illegal substance by an unlawful alien. It makes you wonder if this guy fell trapped to the American state national movement, which encourages people to renounce their American citizenship. He is deportation case. Now this. So he wasn't deported. It wasn't serious. He got a $400 fine. Um, he didn't get shit out of this case. They didn't do shit about it. He's still here. Uh, it wasn't that serious as this guy's making it sound. Uh, he's not an American national because he's Jamaican, so he's not from here, which is probably the reason they couldn't really do anything because when you come from another fucking country, you're protected by the law of the land of their country. So that's the reason a lot of people just get deported and they don't get charged, they just send them back. So he paid a very small price for what happened. Um, this dude's just an idiot. This is the last video of 2022. Good, let so it be because your videos suck. Um, is this Marcus? Yes. Hi, um, my name's Rachel. I'm calling from the solicitor's office. Um, I got your voicemail in regard to Patrick Raymond King. Oh, I'm here right now. I, I think I'm at the, I think I'm at the uh, solicitor's office. Okay, uh, um, well. Yeah, so basically the only reason I was, I was uh, putting power of attorney in is so they had to go through me first to talk about anything. And writs are written by men. Uh, motions are done through corporate fictions. So uh, basically we were approaching it uh, as a living being, but idiots like this don't even understand that when you go into court, you're basically delusional. They, they paint you delusional because you think that you're a fictional law. 
So what I do is I don't ever go into court acting like a fictional law. I I, sep- I, I basically say, hey, uh, that name looks like it's uh, some fictional law, and I'm not a trust. I'm not a name trust, so uh, that name is not referring to me. But idiots like this dude, he's still incompetent. So listen to anything an idiot like this has to say because he's scared of getting in fucking trouble because he's a pussy. Uh, don't be like this pussy. Also, he keeps talking about this state license and getting charged with a felony. I'm not ever going to get charged with a felony because exclusive equity jurisprudence isn't practicing law or the legal system as far as statutes and codes. So it has nothing to do with anything that he's fucking talking about, number one. And there is no state license to practice law. So what fucking license is he talking about that I'm going to get charged a felony for not having? There is none. There is no license. Even the lawyers don't have a fucking license to practice law. So don't listen to this jackass. He's a fucking idiot. Sorry about my language. This dick brain. That's what he called me in another video, dick brain. Hey, dick brain, there's no license, dick brain. Uh, yeah, I was just calling to tell you that um, the hearing that tomorrow... Um... And the other thing is, she said she's a solicitor. So she absolutely understands the chance records and exclusive equity. Unlike this fucking dick brain on the video, uh, talking shit on me. This, what's his name? Uh, I don't even, I don't even fucking remember his, this jackass's name. Team Skeptic. What a fucking loser. It's not anything you need to worry about. Um, it's okay. because this is a criminal case, so it's okay. not See, and all these people, like these lawyers and stuff, they're talking from a perspective like you don't know what's going on. You don't understand the law. You don't know what your rights are. You don't know their oath. Uh, So when they're telling you have to do all this stuff, that when you uh, understand civilian due process and you understand the oath they took, you will understand that they're just fucking lying to you and blowing smoke up your ass, talking a whole bunch of shit that has nothing to do with the uh, statutes of codes. What I would do is I would send them, uh, I would uh, ask them to rebut the presumptions of court or send them send them documentation that you rebut the 12 presumptions of canon law that'll get to the root of the bullshit they're doing what i should do is i should post it actually hold on that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna show you the 12 presumptions of law give me one second 